guys. Hey, the, uh, today is December 26th, and actually, if you can take a look around, we've had our first plowable snow, I guess you can call it, of the season about a week ago. And I noticed I have a problem with the plow. I have a Fisher nine foot minute mount, and I have a broken spring. And these springs control the trip edge on the plow. Also, if you look, this rod that goes through the spring is bent pretty bad too. It may not come up on the camera, but it's uh, bent up pretty bad. So I'm gonna replace that spring. I have a replacement right here. I'll show you right now. Number 26464. I got this one from Fisher Dealer Direct. A Fisher Dealer in, um, in a couple towns over. This one came, I guess you can say pre-compressed. If you notice this little quarter inch pin here, so there's pressure on that spring, which will make installing it easier, but we need to take that pressure off when we're after it's installed. So what I'm gonna do, I actually have a uh, spring compressor from Fisher. And here it is, it's number 20043-1. And this is it right here. Pretty simple little design. And this goes right over the top. And, um, Let's, I'll walk, walk through the steps of what I do. Some people say it's a waste of money buying a compressor, but I disagree because I'm a one man show and it's uh, easier with a tool. So what you do, put this nut and bolt through here. The hole on top of here. Put this through, you put a nut through here just to keep it in place. And what you do, you're gonna tighten down on this nut. And what that's gonna do, that's gonna pull this whole spring together. It's gonna compress it. And as I tighten it, there's a um, small, I'm gonna show you, I'll show you this one here. See that small hole there, quarter inch hole? There's a small quarter inch hole through the shaft. And as I compress it, it's gonna pull this piece of metal up and it's gonna expose that quarter inch hole. And once that hole comes up into view there, we're gonna pull one of these through, I'll show you quick, a pin like this. This pin's gonna go into the hole. Then we're gonna take the, undo the compressor and uh, the spring will pop out pretty quick and easy. So let's walk through it real fast. I'm gonna take you through the steps as you, I guess you said put my gloves on because it's 24 degrees right now a little chilly and plus I'm in the shade so I'm gonna tighten down on this A little more. That's it, that goes in like that. And we're gonna back off on that screw. So we're going to pull the nut back off, pull, pull that out, and remove the compressor. So what we basically did, if you look, we just 
put pressure on that um, on the trip edge. So now it's fairly loose. I'm gonna unbolt the bottom and it should slide right out. If everything goes right, this should be should slide right out. Yep, perfect. Comes out like a piece of cake. And you can see that it's under pressure. That's why we compressed it. So that's why it came out so easily. So what we're going to do now is just reverse the process. We're going to pop this inside. Put a nut and a bolt in the bottom. I'm gonna tighten that one down right now. I think we're okay to do that. Okay, that's tight. Now I'm gonna put the tool back on here where we're gonna compress the spring some more until that pin is loose we're going to pull the pin out and um release the pressure and i think we should be set i just put it in hand tight it's just holding it in place 15 16 wrench so we can get it out of the hole there. Now you can see this pin down here is loose. It's got to pop the pin out. Like so. Pin comes out. I'll put it in the box for the next time we do this. Then what we're gonna do is just um, release the pressure on that spring and then remove the tool. and uh, that's it that actually worked out pretty good spring is in everything's tightened up 
think we're all set. And uh, that's it. I just want to kind of take you guys along and show you how to uh, replace a spring. Some people say I'm crazy for buying that compressor tool. Um, but I'm a one-man show, so it makes it easier. It's, to me, it's well worth it. And really, it took, what, five minutes? I've seen some videos, some guys putting screwdrivers through here with a pipe wrench on the spring. It's not for me. Um, some guys put a tri trip edge up against a catch basin or a curb and drive the truck forward to push them, you know, basically just to compress this. <laughs> kind of like that spring compressor but you know it's to me it's not worth it for peace of mind and um no problems stuff in the way to go and by the way that compressor cost 80 dollars but i think it's well worth it so that's it for today thanks for watching and um catch you later